Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. I'm back with another makeup tutorial and in the Halloween spirit today's makeup tutorial is a cat slash lion slash tiger sort of look. <laughs> I haven't decided what to call it yet. It's a cat of some sort. Um, but yeah, to start off with I'm using my MAC uh, Studio Fix foundation in the shade NC35 and I'm just applying this all over my face to create a nice base. And then the concealer that I'm going to be using today is the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the shade Ivory. No, Porcelain. I always get this wrong in all my other videos. It's Porcelain. I don't actually think they do an Ivory shade. Um, but I think this is the lightest shade they do because I want it to be really nice and bright in the areas that I'm applying it. Which is under my eyes, on my chin, down the centre of my nose, my forehead and above my upper lip to give us that sort of lion white fur look and then i'm just blending that out with my real technique sponge as always And then to really kick that highlight up a notch, I'm going to be taking my Ben Nye White Clown Paint and I'm placing that over the top of those concealed areas with a flat foundation brush. This is going to change the dimensions of our face and make us look more feline and it's also going to give the illusion of white fur in those areas. And I'm being very precise when placing this down. I do want a distinct definition between the highlight and the rest of my face with this look. So I'm not going to over blend so that it's completely seamless. I do want quite a harsh highlight today. And again, I'm using my Real Techniques sponge to blend that out, but I'm being very careful. I don't want to blend this out too much, so I'm using the very tip of the sponge to keep it nice and precise. For my contour, I'm taking a concealer from a MAC palette. I will link everything down below. And I'm just creating a line going from my ear, and then as I get down towards my nose, I'm going to curl it round and up towards my nostril. And again, with my Real Technique sponge, I'm just blending that out. I had some trouble blending this out, actually. I've not used this palette before to contour, but I wouldn't recommend it, especially if you're a beginner. I'd say probably use a actual contour palette. That's a lot easier to blend because this was a little bit tricky. And again, just repeating the same thing on the other cheek and then blending it out with my Real Technique sponge. After blending that all out, I kind of felt like I lost some of the intensity in the highlighted area, so I went back over them with that white clown paint from Ben Nye, just to bring it back out because I just kind of felt like it got a bit lost. And then to set that in place so that it stays and does not budge, I use my RCMA No Colour Powder. And to do this, I'm just using a small tapered brush from Jessup. I will try my best to link down below where I bought my Jessup brushes from. It was an eBay shop, but it was a very long time ago, so... I'll try my best. And to intensify that contour, I'm going to be taking the shade Sculpt, which is a MAC Pro powder, on an angled brush, and I'm really intensifying that contour of the cheekbones and bringing it up towards the nose, kind of curling it round so it gives your cheek more of a rounder appearance. And I'm also going to be contouring around my hairline. Moving on to those brows, I'm going to be taking a brow gel, this one is from Collection, and I'm going to be using this to brush my brows upwards to give them a nice, wild, animalistic effect. 
And to fill them in, I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Medium Brown. And I'm just filling them in how I usually would. So I'm starting at the underneath of the brow and then moving on to the arch to create it a bit higher than it normally is. And then I'm going to pick up my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brush. And I'm just using that with hairline strokes to create the illusion of a more fluffy brow. And then to carve that brow out, define it and to clean up any mistakes, I'm taking that concealer that we used first to carve out the underneath of the brow with a flat brush and then I'm just going to blend it out. going to be using quite a lot of eyeshadow with this look so I want to make sure that my eyelids are primed. I'm taking my painting paint pot to do this and I'm blending this all over my eyelid and up towards the brow. You don't have to use the paint pot if you haven't got it, you can use your concealer or your foundation. As long as you set it with the powder it shouldn't crease so you should be fine. And I always like to set my primer in place so to do that I'm taking my RCMA No Colour Powder and I'm just placing that all over the lid. For the nose, I'm taking this eyeshadow from MAC in the shade Swiss Chocolate and I'm using a short shader brush to draw two lines down the side of my nose. I'm keeping them a lot wider apart than I would if I was normally contouring my nose because cats have wider noses than us. As you can see, I'm bringing that all the way down to the tip of my nose and then I'm bringing it up in towards my eyelid. So I'm going to be curving that round as if I'm creating a sort of cut crease look, making my eyes look a bit bigger and a bit more sunken in. And then using that same brush, I'm just going to blend the outside edge of that line. You don't want to blend the inside, you want that bit to be nice and sharp, but the outside needs to be a little bit softer. And then I'm just dragging that more onto my eyelid to further deepen up the socket. So just a warning, the lighting is about to change because I went and done one eye off camera and then by the time I came back it was pitch black outside. But I'm just taking my MAC Warm Neutrals palette and I'm taking the shade Saddle on a fluffy blending brush and I'm using this to soften that line we created from the nose contour. And then I'm taking that same Swiss chocolate shade that we use for the nose and I'm keeping this more on the outer half of the eye so I'm placing it first in the crease and then I'm going to use it to connect that outer winged shape that we've got there to the lid. And then I'm just going to use it to fill in the outer V of the eye. And then I'm just taking this dark brown shade from the Tartlet palette and again I'm deepening up the outer V. As I move on to the darker shades I always go for a smaller brush to place the dark shade down first and then I go in with my fluffier brush to blend out the edges. And then I'm just taking the black shade from the same palette to really add some depth and some smokiness. And then using my paint pot and a synthetic flat brush, I'm going to be carving out the front of the eye socket. So I'm starting from the right at the inner corner, almost curving it round down towards the nose and then I'm bringing it up onto my lid and I'm stopping as I meet the black shade. As that paint pot starts to meet the black shade, I'm going to be using a lighter hand to try my best to kind of fade it into the black, but when I go in with the shadow next, it's going to kind of do the job for you. So I'm taking this shadow and then I'm just placing that all over that area that we just placed the paint pot. Moving on to my lower lash line and one of the most important steps for this look, I'm going to be taking that dark brown shade and a flat angled brush 
and on the inner corner of my eye I'm creating my lash line a little bit lower than it actually is so I'm bringing it down and then as I meet about a quarter of the way into my eye I'm going to connect it to my real lash line and then I'm just going to blend that line out with a pencil brush and for my wing I'm using my NYC liquid liner which is my favorite liner and I'm creating a really big wing for this look so I'm just flicking it out dragging it back down you know the drill and I'm also going to be creating a point on my inner corner this will really make our eyes look similar to a cat take your time when you're doing the inner corner point because it can very quickly turn messy so you just want to use really little strokes I'm just applying some mascara to the top and bottom lashes and the false lashes I'm using today are iconic from House of Lashes and I'm applying them more on the outer half of my eye. And to create my little black nose I'm using my Meron liquid face paint and I'm creating a straight line over the tip of my nose and down my nostrils and then I'm just going to be filling that in and creating a point going down towards my lip. This part actually took me quite a while because I wanted it to be perfect, so I'm just going to speed it up for you. So the lips are quite simple, I'm just filling in the top lip and then when I get to the outer edges I'm going to be taking my NYC liquid liner just because it's got a more precise point and I'm just flicking them slightly upwards. It's really hard to do this without getting it on your bottom lip, but just wait till it's dry and then wipe it off. Using that same liquid liner, I'm going to place down some dots on my upper lip. These dots are going to be where the whiskers grow from. And then once you've done that, you just want to pick some random dots and flick out some whiskers. I did go back in afterwards and add more because I feel like I wanted more. And then you're a cute little cat. Thank you so much for watching guys, I really hope you liked this video and thank you so 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 much for everyone that has subscribed to my channel, I am so grateful. Everything for this video will be linked down below, the cat ears, the claws, the gloves, everything down below. My big curly hair tutorial will also be down below so go check that out if you want to know how to get hair like this. And I will be back with another Halloween makeup tutorial very soon. Thanks for watching, bye!